Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, as more and more dear souls begin to awaken to the nudging of spirit, it is time for a review of some of the fundamental teachings of expanded consciousness. Even those of you who have been on the path of ascension for many years sometimes need a refresher course in some of the critical steps in attaining self-mastery. This review is a critical phase for humanity, and many of you are feeling the ascension symptoms which accompany these life-altering changes. As the light cells of God consciousness infiltrate deeper and deeper into the physical structure, the membranes of light surrounding the DNA begin to dissolve. As part of this sub-universal experience, this was programmed into the Adam or Eve Cadman light body blueprint so that the activation of the DNA strands would take place two at a time. The DNA strands are attuned to the different dimensional levels. The two strands which are now available and active in the physical vessel are attuned to the first, second and third dimensional levels. As we have told you before, as you sank into the density of the lower dimensions, two by two, your DNA strands were encased in membranes of light and placed in reserve until the time you were ready to begin your journey back into the higher dimensions of light. First, second and third dimensions, two strands of DNA fourth and fifth dimensions, four strands of DNA sixth and seventh dimensions, six strands of DNA eighth and ninth dimensions, eight strands of DNA tenth and eleventh dimensions, ten strands of DNA twelfth dimension, twelve strands of DNA for clarity and to help you understand the sequence of higher self or oversoul integration, let us assign numbers to each facet of your higher self. You were born with a facet of your God self enclosed within a sphere of light, which was stored within your sacred heart. Encoded within your DNA, your auric field and the white fire memory seed atoms throughout your body were the frequencies you were to experience in the beginning stages of your life. Your number one soul self, which we will call your oversoul, took up residency within your soul star, the eighth chakra, at the time of your birth. If your heart chakra remains open, gradually over time, this higher dimensional facets of your soul overlights you and radiates its refined light frequencies into your chakra system and auric field. If everything goes according to plan and your heart chakra remains open and unsullied, sometime in your early years of life you begin to awaken to the nudging, whisperings of your soul self, around seven years of age, and a soul or personality merge process begins. We will call this your number two soul self. When the integration of this facet of your higher consciousness is complete, at the appropriate time your number three soul self, around twelve years old, the next more advanced spark of your multidimensional being, moves down into the eighth chakra position. It becomes your oversoul consciousness which overlights your physical, mental and emotional expression. This process will be repeated over and over again at regular predetermined intervals throughout this physical lifetime until you reach the mid-sixties or early seventh decade of life. If the Sacred Heart Center has not been actively opened by this time, the higher oversoul self would no longer send the memory seed atom cells of higher consciousness to awaken you. You would transition from this life experience without ever tapping into the full measure of this priceless gift of godly cosmic consciousness stored therein. When you began your adventure into the physical realms of materiality, you slowly built a garment of flesh around your shining, crystalline light body. A sphere of light was placed in the back area of the body behind your physical heart. This light sphere, which would be called your sacred heart, became the home of your soul or higher self, and your diamond core god cell was also placed within this sacred chamber. The qualities, Attributes and virtues of the seven rays of God consciousness were also placed within spheres of light. These spheres, known as chakras, were designed to spin at a very high velocity, which made them appear to be spinning cones of light radiating from the front and back of the physical body. Now you are striving to reverse the process as you seek to eliminate all the discordant frequencies you have created down through the ages, thereby purifying your four lower bodily systems physical, mental, emotional and astral, so that you can move beyond your physiological limitations. 
you must move from an ego desire body, self centered attitude, however, this does not occur until you are well on the path of ascension. Remember, we have told you, there is a virtue in selfishness, or a time of intense self absorption, when you are endeavoring to heal and balance your physical, emotional, and mental bodies. This preparation and refining of the physical vessel is an important step for each higher level of light infusion. Otherwise, it would be like inserting a 110 volt electrical plug into a 220 volt outlet. It would result in an instant shock, and most likely, the destruction of the appliance, physical vessel. It is extremely important that you focus on refining the seven chakras of the bodily form, thereby creating and activating your pillar of light which follows the path in front of the spinal column. This pillar of light must re-establish its connection to the heart core center of the earth and to your star tetrahedron, your soul star, which is 8 to 12 inches above the crown of your head. When this is accomplished, you will gradually gain access to the five higher rays of creator light, which will assist you in the completion of your divine blueprint for this particular round of evolution. We must explain, however, that during your journey back into the higher dimensions, you will be asked to accept many special missions and you will usually agree, for this is the way the ascension process was designed. You will forever seek to return to the fullness of your God consciousness, but you will also maintain a burning desire to serve in some way, for deep within your sacred heart there is a memory seed atom that pulsates with pure love and an inborn desire to serve. It was ordained that many facets or sparks of the angelic kingdom, and of other great beings of light, would incarnate on earth and follow the path of humans. Portals of initiation were opened and have remained open down through the ages. However, in the past, only a few brave souls made it past the entry gateway of illumination and gained self-mastery. Conscious awareness is developed through gradual stages of awakening and understanding more complex and refined concepts. As you progress, you will gradually gain access to higher and higher dimensional levels of consciousness during your nightly astral body travels. You are taken to halls of learning and eventually into halls of wisdom. Over time, each seeker of the light will join the world server groups who breathe in and radiate forth waves of adamantine particles of creator light, which will be used for the greatest good. How will you know when you are eligible to join members of your soul group in the world server pyramid? You will automatically be taken there when your soul song resonates to the mid-fourth dimensions and above. You will go there when you have balanced 51% of your karma, and you are truly making an effort to control your emotional nature. You will go there when you begin to see the best in those around you, and when you are endeavoring to move out of judgment as you learn to view life and the world through eyes filtered with compassion. Allow us to explain the makeup of the world server pyramid. Envision a gigantic crystal pyramid in the fifth dimension, with the peak and the double terminated crystal extending up into the first level of the sixth dimension. Within this wondrous edifice are graduated levels of the fifth and lower sixth dimensional frequency patterns. There are thousands of smaller pyramids, each of which resonate to particular harmonic frequencies of light. You might equate these pyramids to small cities of light. When the time arrives that you are qualified to join the group of world servers, you will be taken into the light pyramid that is attuned to your particular vibrational patterns. As you advance in light resonance, you will move ever upward into higher and higher stations of light within the world server pyramid. This too is an integral part of the ascension process. The focused gaze of humanity is being lifted out of the stifling quagmire of earthly existence onto the far distant horizon of the future. Desire for material riches is being replaced with a yearning for soul consciousness. World servers will be held together by a strong soul connection a remembrance of a solemn oath to serve humanity, with the common goal of ascending in consciousness. The divine blueprint for this sub-universe was created as a twelve-dimensional experience. There are other sub-universes that were created to experience a greater number of dimensions and some others with fewer dimensions. 
The Earth and the Solar System of which it is a part are in the process of reintegrating all of the attributes, qualities and virtues of the twelve rays of God consciousness in order to be eligible to join in the next higher degree of the divine plan for the expansion of this sub-universe. Over time, evolution of consciousness is followed by stages of evolution within the physical vessel. Form always follows thought. The human body is being prepared to receive the higher frequencies of creator light, the adamantine particles of sacred fire light. You must evolve from a passive mode of being into a newly refined state of being as an action-oriented, expansive bearer of light if you are to become a co-creative master of light. As you turn inward and reach upward for higher frequency concepts and information, you will automatically begin to withdraw from the astral plane collective consciousness belief system. From a spiritual viewpoint, evolution means a steadily increasing sensitivity to vibrational frequencies and an ability to integrate more creator essence. This results in greater illumination and a more compassionate nature. The intuition of an intelligent, awakened person leads to a greater understanding of the divine plan for humanity and the part he or she is to play. Focused intelligence is necessary to successfully enter the fifth dimension, and then, to tap into the vast storehouse of wisdom and advanced abilities therein available. Meditation and a strong soul consciousness open the portal to cosmic revelation. When needed, appropriate, expanded information will always be supplied to the aspirant on the path of light. Your next step and the action needed are revealed one level at a time. Think of telepathic communication with the beings of the higher realms as receiving memory seed atoms of thought and information. You must practice perfecting the ability to create a vivid picture of your ideas, and to hold them long enough until they register within your brain and the ethers. Remember, energy follows thought. Light is both energy and matter. Electrification or conversion of matter or energy happens when energy is processed through a pyramid of light. As the human mind reaches out to the enlightened beings of the higher realms, it results in an energy conversion. Gradually, using these advanced techniques and perfecting them release you from the laws of entropy and decay, so that you may slowly begin the process of rejuvenation. You are also gradually moving from one type of visibility to a more advanced state. You will be moving beyond the ultraviolet spectrum of color and light into the many higher frequency electromagnetic spectrums of light. You are also being prepared to work on many levels of intelligence. You cannot escape the streams of energy that are constantly bombarding the earth and humanity. The life-giving energy of the great rays radiates forth from our father or mother God via the great central sun of this universe through the myriad suns of the sub-universes, galaxies, and solar systems. There are also specialized frequencies of cosmic energy pulsating throughout this sub-universe from the many constellations and other solar systems as well as the pulse and heartbeat of your Mother Earth, which has a direct influence upon all living things. Many of the cosmic forces of the higher dimensional frequencies are beneficial, life-sustaining, and enhancing, while those of the lower, discordant frequencies of the third or fourth dimensions are detrimental and limiting. Every soul determines which of the multitude of frequencies they will respond to via their energetic signature. In doing so, they either create their personal heaven on earth or their private hell. Your brain is a magnificent organ which contains a vast number of consciousness life codes or memory seed atoms. Most of your genius potential has been stored away in the higher dimensional levels of your sacred mind, which is located at the back of the head near the crown chakra. Your soul song contains the frequencies which will assist you in accessing this rich storehouse of knowledge. Every octave of frequency acceleration gives you access to a higher level of God consciousness. Your brain and mind hold the keys to mastership and illumination. Dear hearts, remember, if you are focused only on your personal ascension, you are misinterpreting our messages. As you tread the high road that leads to illumination, you must reach out and touch the hearts of others through your words, actions, and deeds. A true disciple on the path leads a life of service. A ways hower on the path gradually moves beyond physical family duties and responsibilities as his or her consciousness, wisdom, and light magnify. 
Gradually, the aspirant's influence expands, and his or her opportunity to become a true Ways Hauer increases. It takes constant and deliberate effort to tame the ego, and to gain the knowledge and expertise necessary to become a world server. You must be an outstanding example and have the ability to excite and stimulate desire for spiritual wisdom in order to serve humanity as a guiding light. My brave friends, we know how it feels to bask in the perfection of creator love or light. You are just beginning to understand. Your yearning within will grow stronger and more compelling as you reach higher and higher into the illumined realms of existence. In the beginning we were in perfect rapport and finely attuned, one with another. Together, we are slowly but surely returning to that beautiful state of unity. I am forever your friend and constant companion, I am Archangel Michael.